Welcome. Uh, this video is going to show you a, a brief Fusion demo on version 18 of, of Fusion. Firstly, Fusion has a nice exciting wall out uh, wizard. You can do simple walls, you can do multiple walls. For now I'm just going to do the, the, the square room and go next. You can put in the sizes that you want. So I'm just going to go 4 meters by 4 meters. You can make that ceiling height too to six and then you can choose the color of the walls that you want so as you go down you'll see lots of different colors that you can choose from and i'm just going to go for the first one there just for something difference you can add in windows into the program no problem so you can make the the different heights of the windows and so there's there's a window there. You can do the same for doors. Add in a door. If you didn't like it, you can get rid of it and, and add in another one. So that's not a not a problem. Everything is, is customizable in, in Fusion. Let's just put one in here. 900. And I'm going to go make that 2 meters on that side. You can make the see that's the heart of that's that door two meters and you can say which side you want to hand it uh, the hinging to be and and so forth press ok choose the color again okay now you can just put in a, a few few units floor corner so you can add in a corner unit there you can choose the side the the color that you like and the door style that you that you want so if you go down let's say you want a shaker 70 and you wanted the color to be black cherry you can do that press ok and now you can just add in a few few cupboards fd4 for a floor four draw f2d a meter one there it tells you you got 1600 left so you can put in a another th three draw unit there and you've got two, 200 there, so now you can go floor sparse, and I'm going to make that 200. And then I'll just duplicate this, this corner unit here. I'm going to go down and choose FD, choose this one here. I can put in a pot draw and put in an oven unit. And as I'm going down, it's just you can see as it gives me the measurements that I need there. Now, if I go FD and let's choose that one there, and it gives me that. Duplicate that. Okay. Now I'll just go F1D. Now tool end panel. Let's make that two two. 2120. Okay, then make it WFR. Okay, and maybe a a grocery cupboard. Tall grocery. And you'll notice that it's giving me the the sizes of what I what I need left. Um, so if I didn't want it this way, if I wanted it slightly differently, I could. Move this, delete this, move this up, and then add in a another unit next to that so that I, I've got perfect measurements there. So here I can go WFR. Let's make it a two one meter. Okay, I've got a fridge in there already. Let's make that fifty. And you'll notice here I've got one 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 five. So if I wanted to have a a tall grocery cupboard TC, I can do that as well. So I can make this one one five by one one five. Actually, let me make that one one. You'll notice there it's going into the wall by one one. Uh, and replace. There we go. 
and I'll put in a, a tour filler and tour filler and we can add that in and then we'll put in a broom cupboard TB so without doing too much there's a uh, our kitchen that we've got we'll just put on some wall units WC and another WC there and another one on, on that side there here we can we can add in a few extra W1 and we'll make this 300 put it there it says there's a clash I'll move that over okay and I can add another one here and move that up. Now if I wanted to put a shelf over the top there, I can do that as well over the window. So make that 2.5, 300 thick and 1400 high. Okay. So over the window you can go into elevation and have a look at that you notice that it's, it's far too far too low so I'm just going to lift it up and lift it up again there we go let me just get this okay and now we're just going to go across to this side and you can add on some more units WW, WG, uh, let's go for a 600 unit two door, and WE for the extractor. Okay, we've got 800 left there, so I'm just going to WG, and going to put 800. There we go. And on this side here, we can put on a microwave unit if we if we wanted to as well so WM let's see how much space 200 so we can put on a a little a big filler or, or whatever we want on this side here so we'll just put in a W1D and make that 200 very small unit so there we go and now if you look at that in in your different views your different elevations you can see the where it's coming out. If you need to correct something, you just move it down and you put it where you where you need it to be. Select the wall again. Let's look at the different ones. Fridge is a bit too high, so you can change that to let's make it 17.50. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is go and have a look at this in our perspective. Okay, you'll notice now that these. This is just a a preview of it. Let's go and have a look at it over here. Okay, so there's our our kitchen so far, and we'll show you how easy it is to to put on your your capping, your worktops, and everything. So let's do that. Okay, changing the size of that. Okay, and we also want to put on capping over the top of that. So, easy enough. Okay, let's put on our worktops. And let's carry on. So, there we go. As you'll notice, it will start putting it on now for us. saying there's a few clashes but obviously that's normal so worktops we can choose a Caesar stone worktop and we can go for something a bit dark maybe a coffee bean and press OK and you'll notice it starts to change color now okay there's our 
our, our kitchen so far. Now the few things that we can do to improve it, I want to put in a, a sink into this. So I type in sink, put the two bowl in, in there. Great. I want to put a hob in, and I'll put that by the oven. Move that down by 40 and away from the wall by 20. And now you can put on splashbacks and and a few things. And I'll do that just to just to improve it very quickly. Okay. Put it onto the walls. Again, all the way down. Last one. Okay, and we can do one that's, that's a bit higher. We can make it 720 where the oven is. Okay. Now, what we can do now is we can put on a bit of lighting. So into the design, go auto lighting. And we can put some some lights. So let's just see if we can get to some of these lights in our elevation. And I want that light there. So we can stick it over the over the window. There we go. Control D. Let's put it over here. Control D. And one more. Control D there. Okay. We can put on ceiling cornices just to finish it off so that it looks nice. And let's go around. Make that 2 5. And let's go around. So in less than 15 minutes and 10 minutes, basically, you have a design that looks like this. And you get great, great value for money for when you're getting a, a fusion, a 2020 fusion. It looks great and it's easy to use. And we, ha we hold training uh, courses in South Africa. In the new version 15, you can add in things like from Google SketchUp. So if you wanted to spend a bit of time, you can actually put in Google SketchUp models. You can create movies, which look something like this. So as, as you create the movies, you can also put in your own, your own colors, your own picture frames, everything like that into the, into the design. You can put on blinds across the window. And here's the, the movie that's coming up. And we'll have a look at it as soon as it's finished loading. Okay. Press play. And there you can see a movie is going around. So that's just something that you can create in the movies. Thank you very much for, for watching this video. I hope you spend the time and have a look at uh, 2020 Fusion and the new version 18.